Hey guys, I got a quick tackle unboxing for you. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these and uh, kind of excited about what's in the box because that's going to dictate um, you know, how I fish in the next few weeks and the next month or two. And so I just wanted to show you some of the things that, um, that I want to fish uh, in the next few weeks and hopefully uh, we'll get some good footage later on uh, with some nice bass as well. All right. So tackle warehouse I did open the box already start out got some sunline seven pound FC sniper I love the finesse fish and uh, with that being said I got some finesse shrooms and that's going to be perfect for the Ned rig which uh, I'm hoping to get more into you know, there's a, a huge craze about it right now, and um, bottom line is that rig catches fish, and it catches lots of fish, and so uh, I really want to get that down, and I want that to be one of my go-tos when uh, fishing gets tough, or if I need to put some fish in the boat. I'm going to show you, um, I did get some the finesse TRDs by Z-Man, and this is... Uh, Copper truce. You can see it's got that almost like a watermelon red flake on one side, and then the chartreuse on the other side. It's gonna be awesome. And then the finesse, the other finesse TRDs that I got were in the California crawl. They're almost like a dark green um, with like some black mixed in almost, and some little copper flakes. Should be really good. Got some finesse worms for Carolina rigging. This is in the dirt color. These are awesome guys. Got some bottom hoppers, the shaky heads, Carolina rigs, drop shots. That's in June bug. Got some more and some green pumpkin. Some more worms, June bug. Mostly Carolina rigging and shaky heading for me on these. Awesome stuff there. What else did I get? Uh, speaking of shit, uh, Carolina rigs, um, I got these from Bike Fishing Tackle. Uh, these are like, I think they're like ceramic beads, and they're supposed to be um, have a louder click um, on your Carolina rig. So I wanted to try that. It's a little bit different from your standard um, bead, and so I want to see if that helps or not. They're only like a dollar or two a piece, so I ended up getting. Uh, two or three packs of those. Got some bullet weights. Uh, and, and these are some big bullet weights, but uh, what I use these are for Carolina rigs when I'm fishing through the grass. Uh, normally I'll use um, tungsten if I have it. And uh, if I'm fishing open, like clean bottom water, then I'll use something uh, more round, more of your traditional uh, Carolina rig weights. But um, when I'm fishing through grass, I need it to penetrate through there, and so I think the bullet weights are actually better. So I got some, the fourth ounce, the three eighth ounce, and those are plenty heavy for me for the most part. Sometimes I go up to a half ounce, um, but normally I don't go more than a half ounce. Got a bunch of bobber stops because they were on sale, 99 cents a piece. And we got like five packs of those. Got some nail weights by Lunker City. I don't know if you guys can see that. And uh, these are going to be great for the Nico rig. Um, you just kind of insert it through the head or the tail of a, your finesse bait. And uh, then you can like wacky rig it. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things about the Nico rig. I've never tried it. Um, but that's one of those other techniques I really want to get down because I think it's going to put a lot more fish in the boat for me. All right. Some swivels by Mustad. Just for the Carolina rig. Did get a few uh, more jigs from Dirty Jigs, swim jigs, and uh, this is in the tilapia color, which is perfect. If you guys can see that. Um, perfect for Florida fishing because we have tilapia everywhere. And then I got another one in the bluegill color, which also um, looks really good. 
And uh, I really like dirty jigs, um, swim jigs, as well as uh, gambler, but I already have a bunch of gambler ones right now, and I wanted to stock up on the dirty jigs. Let's see, some more beads by Vike. And then last but not least, something I'm really excited about trying is um, the Huddleston um, 68 Special. And uh, this has a rate of fall 12. I plan on making a few videos talking about the Huddleston swim baits. Been really getting into swim baits lately. And uh, this is the, it's, it's a 6 inch uh, in length, but it's got the 8 inch tail that normally comes on the 8 inch. So it's got a lot of thump, a lot of action. I've been fishing the little four inch uh, weedless minnow and that's been pretty good but uh, I'm looking for a bigger bite and I think this is uh, you know my next step and so uh, I'm gonna fish this for a while and if I like it then I'm gonna move up to the eight inch huds and uh, hopefully um, catch some giants this summer and in the fall of course I got the sticker as always um, so you guys should be seeing a lot more videos from me a lot more different techniques. I'm going to try to do some things that other guys aren't doing just so it doesn't get boring and old. I want to keep things interesting for you and um, start actually talking a little bit more in my videos about how I do things, how I fish, what my thought process is, and hopefully that'll help you guys fish and become better fishermen. Um, appreciate you guys checking me out. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Best of luck. Wow, I want you guys to look at the mouth of that thing. Yeah. Didn't that thing look bad?